Hello everyone and welcome back. So in our last lecture, we did uh, some examples on Laplace transformation using standard results. So in this particular lecture also, we'll try to solve some more examples using standard results. Now see here, uh, we have to find the Laplace transformation for this three different functions. So in the first example, you see here f of t is equals to how much sine twice t and then what sine 3t so you cannot take laplace directly on both sides because you cannot separate these two because there is no property like this that laplace transformation of f1 of t and f2 of t is equals to laplace transformation of f1 of t into laplace transformation of f2 of t so in some cases i see that students are writing like this Laplace transformation of sine twice t into Laplace transformation of sine three t, but there is no rule like this. So let us uh, simplify the function a bit. So if we uh, multiply with half and then in balance with one two, then this particular function will becomes like this. Now why we are multiplying with half and two? See, this is of the form two sine a sine b. Okay, 2 sin a sin b. So, what is the formula for 2 sin a sin b? It's cos a minus b. Cos a minus b. So, if you subtract it, no? A my twice t minus 3t is minus t. And then minus cos a plus b. So, it is how much? 5t. Okay. Cos a minus b because formula for cos a minus b is what? Cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. And uh, cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So, it will be 2 sin a sin b. Then half, we know that cos of minus theta is again cos theta. So, it is cos t minus how much it is? Uh, cos 5t. Okay. Now, we can take the transformation. So, Laplace transformation of sin twice t and then sin 3t. Okay. So, it will be Laplace transformation. Half, half we can keep it outside because it is a constant. Laplace transformation of cos t minus cos what? 5t. So, you just simply use the formula cos t. Laplace transformation of cos t is how much? It is s divided by s square plus 1. And this will be our s divided by s square plus what? 5 square means 25. So, this is the answer. So, once you simplify it a little bit and then uh, easily we can find the Laplace transformation. Okay. So, let us take the second problem. So, here f of t is how much? Sin twice t and then cos 3t. So, let us multiply with half and 2. So, sin twice t cos 3t. So, this is of the form 2 sin a cos b. 2 sin a cos b is formula is what? Sin a plus b. So, if you add these two, it will get 5t minus sin a minus b. Twice t minus 3t is how much? Minus t. So, half it is sin 5t and then sin of minus theta is what? sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So, it will be your minus, minus minus plus what? Sin t. Okay. So, this term will be sin c plus sin d. Okay. So, if it is plus, then this will be minus. Okay? Because it is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is 2 sin a sin t. Okay. So, now take the Laplace transformation of sin twice t cos 3t. So, it will be how much half is outside. So, Laplace transformation of sin 5t minus what? Sin t. So, half into Laplace transformation of sin 5t is what? It is 5 divided by s square plus 5 square and then this is 1 divided by how much? s square plus 1. Okay. So, there is one more. Let us take that one also. So, these are very simple related to class uh, 
level where you get this uh, 2 sin a sin b 2 sin a cos b formula so here our f of t is cos 3t and then cos twice t so in the same way multiply the half and 2 cos 3t and then cos what twice t so now see this is what this is 2 cos a cos b so formula for 2 cos a cos b is what cos a plus b so it is 5t then plus cos a minus b so it will be cos t simple okay so laplace transformation of cos 3t then cos twice t will be half is outside cos 5t plus cos t so this is how much s divided by s square plus 5 square and this will be our uh, one, uh, s divided by s square plus 1 so these are very simple okay next uh, next let us take some other type of problem here we see it's a sine square of t okay sine square of t but there is we have laplace transformation of sine t but there is no formula for sine square t so what what you can do here f of t is sine square t and you all know that sine square t can also be written like this half into 1 minus cos 2t then we will take the laplace transformation so laplace transformation of sine square of t is equals to half is constant so we have to take the laplace transformation of what 1 minus cos twice t so it's half into now see laplace transformation of 1 is how much 1 by s and cos 2t is what s divided by s square plus 2 square okay similarly when it is uh, cos square t cos square t we can write cos square t as half into 1 plus cos twice t okay 1 plus cos twice t then laplace transformation of cos square t is again half is constant so laplace of 1 plus cos twice t so it's half into now 1 laplace transformation of 1 is 1 by s and this is our s divided by s square plus 2 square and then the third one which is sine cube t okay sine cube t here f of t is sine cube t so we have to uh, simplify it a little bit because we know the formula for sine 3t okay so it's 3 sin t minus 4 sin cube t okay formula for sin 3 3 sin a minus 4 sin cube a from this particular result 4 sin cube t is how much 3 sin t minus sin 3 t then uh, what is sin cube t then it is 3 by 4 sin t minus 1 by 4 sin 3t so that we have to write here so what we get 3 by 4 sin t minus 1 by 4 what sin 3t now we can easily take the laplace transformation sin cube of t so see 3 by 4 is constant so laplace of sin t again 1 by 4 is constant then laplace of what sin 3t so 3 by 4 laplace of sin t is what a divided by means 1 divided by s square plus 1 square and then this is our 3 divided by s square plus 3 square means 9 okay so these are again one kind of problem now let us uh, do this particular problem so in our last uh, video also we did this type of problem e to the power a t f of t dt i think you still remember now this is what f of s minus a okay f of s minus a so for this particular problem first we have to uh, separate it like this uh, laplace transformation of one will be e to the power minus t then three sine hyperbolic t okay next will be our uh, laplace of e to the power minus t 5 cos hyperbolic twice t so here you can 
take 3 outside and then it is Laplace of e to the power minus t sin hyperbolic t here take keep, uh, keep 5 outside Laplace of e to the power minus t and then cos hyperbolic twice t. So, you have to find these two individually. Okay. So, here f of t is different. Here f of t is what? Different. So, for this particular part, what we will do? Mm. Okay. So, let us write like this. We have, we have uh, Laplace transformation of sin hyperbolic t. So, what is the formula for uh, sin hyperbolic t? Sin hyperbolic t is what? Uh, it is a divided by sin hyperbolic a t is there. So, there is no a. So, it will be 1 divided by 1 divided by a square minus 1. Okay. So, now see, this is our f of s. Okay. This is our f of s for the first part. Then, if we include 3 here, so it will be what? Suppose, uh, Laplace transformation of e to the power minus t, then sin hyperbolic t is there, right? So, this thing, we can write Laplace of, what? Sorry, f of s minus a is how much? a is minus 1. So, it is s plus 1. Okay? s plus 1. So, here, for the, the, for the first part, what is our f of s? It is 1 divided by s square minus 1. So, it will be 1 divided by, in place of s, what we have to write? s plus 1. So, it is s plus 1 whole square minus 1. Similarly, for the second part, for this particular part, Laplace transformation of cos hyperbolic twice t. So, our formula will be s divided by s square minus 2 square. Okay. So, here this is our f of s. This is our f of s. So, let us write it f1 and f2. Okay. So, this will be our f1. So, minus 5 into, now this part is extra. Okay. This part is extra. So, you can write in side note also. So, then uh, minus 5 into what? This will be our Laplace transformation of e to the power minus t cos hyperbolic. So, this we can write f2 of s plus 1. So, minus 5 into what is our f2? It is s divided by s square minus 2 square. So, in place of s, we are going to write s plus 1. Then, this is our s plus 1 whole square minus how much? 2 square. Okay. So, if you want to uh, do further more calculation, then you can take LC, but I will suggest that let us keep it right like this because the denominator in both the terms are different. Okay. It is not same. So, let us keep it like this. So, th this problem is also very simple. Now, the question is sin hyperbolic. Yeah, sin hyperbolic. So, let us see this particular problem okay so it's a different type of problem which include hyperbolic and then uh, non hyperbolic also see the first problem it is sine hyperbolic at into what cos at okay cos at in the second problem in place of cos what we are writing we are writing sine at so both the problems are almost similar so what we know that we know that uh, laplace transformation of sine hyperbolic at so what is the formula it is a divided by s square minus a square so this is our f of s okay this is f of s then what is uh, laplace transformation of e to the power i a t sine hyperbolic at so again the same formula no this formula i am talking about uh, this formula this one this one you see. So, if it is e to the power at, then f of s will become f of s minus a. So, here this is our f of s, a divided by s square minus a square. So, now you check it, here a is how much? Here a is i a. So, what we have to write? Our This particular term will be f of s minus i a. 
So whatever you get here in place of S, we have to replace this particular S by S minus I. So this term will be A divided by S minus I A whole square, then minus A square. Okay. So if you simplify this, this will be your A square. And then uh, what is the last term? I A whole square. I A whole square is uh, minus A square. So minus A square minus A square is minus 2 A square. So I am uh, writing the real part separately. And then there is a more term. 2IAS. Okay. 2IAS. So, what to do? Since I is in the denominator, so we have to rationalize it. So, A is a constant. So, when you rationalize, our first term will be plus 2IAS. And in the denominator, what you have to write? This term together with this particular term. It means S square minus 2S square minus 2IAS and then A square minus 2A square plus 2IA 2IAS right so this is A into A square minus 2A square plus 2IAS in the denominator you see this is of the form A plus B A minus B so we can write a square, a square, our a is a square minus 2 a square, a square plus b square. So our b is this one, okay. So when you write b square, it will be 4 a square, a square. Now just simply separate it. And what is the left hand side? You see left hand side. In left hand side, e to the power i a t. So what is the formula for e to the power i a t? e to the power i a t is nothing but cos a t plus i sin a t okay with this what we have we have sin hyperbolic a t so if you uh, separate the real and imaginary part then what we have to write a into a square minus 2 a square divided by a square minus 2 a square whole square plus 4 a square a square a square and then second term is what i into here we write 2 a square s divided by a square minus 2 a square whole square plus 4 a square s square. Now we have to, what to do is simple co comparing real Im imaginary part. Okay, equating, equating real and imaginary part, imaginary parts we get so see the left hand side laplace transformation of cos a t and then sin hyperbolic a t so we are talking about what the real part so here this is the real part so the answer will be a into a square minus 2 a square divided by a square minus 2 a square whole square plus 4 a square s square then what we will compare we will compare the imaginary part so our imaginary part is sin a t and then sin hyperbole a t. So what is the imaginary part on the right hand side? 2 a square s divided by a square minus 2 a square whole square plus 4 a square s square. So the problems are very simple. Okay. So if you know the standard results of Laplace transformation, then any kind of problem you can solve. Uh, so I hope uh, you understand all the examples using standard results so you can practice some more problems for any other book okay there are lots of books so you can take a one book and practice some similar kind of problems so thank you for watching the video till now so if you like my video then kindly subscribe and share with your friends